Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cameras and Coffee. And today, uh, so last week I got an email from Dominic. I'm going to try to pronounce his last name correctly. Oxkowski, I believe. And um, he has invented a 3D, uh, a laser cut 3D stereoscopic pinhole camera for stereography. Now, stereography is 3D photography. And what it does is, um, when I grew up, we had a stereoscope hanging on the wall of my house. And it looked like basically VR goggles made out of wood with a long thing coming off the front of it and then two clips. And then the VR goggles had like a lens or a piece of glass, what, on the front of each one. And the, the clips would each hold a slide. Or if you remember those, those things when you were a kid that were made of red plastic and you'd click it and the wheel would turn and there'd be two slightly offset images and it'd be like looking through that red plastic thing at a 3D image of a scene. That's exactly the, what stereoscopy is, uh, stereography is. And it allows the viewer to see two two-dimensional images and for the brain to perceive them as a single three-dimensional image. And it was used extensively by the military with aerial photography during, well, all of, uh, since World War II, at least. And what, what the military spy planes would do is they would have two cameras running next to each other, taking photos at the exact same rate. And uh, I think one of them would be oriented this way and the other one would be offset slightly, if I remember correctly. And basically, they would fly planes over the ground, and then the, the images could be overlaid uh, in, in equipment after the film was developed, and then the, uh, the, the people reviewing the images could manipulate them and look at a 3D representation of the world through this stereograph. So this is a technique that has a very long and illustrious history and some very advanced principles behind it. And the camera that Dominic put together is very interesting looking. It's called the Minuta Stereo, and it's going to be able to take 120 or 35 millimeter film, which I think is fantastic. And the 35 millimeter is, yes, Steinbeck, I know I'm talking to the camera and not you. <laughs> the 35 millimeter will result in sprocket hole panoramic photos that look like they're about 24 by 60, 24 by 56, give or take. So about a little bit better than two to one. So a nice wide panorama. Uh, and then the, um, the 120 will take two six by six images. And the resolution samples in, in the press material that he sent look pretty good. The also, also the camera design is very clever. It's a very, very cute looking camera as you can see by some of the photos that he sent me to share in this video. And it looks like it's going to arrive in a flat pack that the user will then assemble. And um, so it's, it's definitely a, a really neat design. I'm, uh, Dominic's going to send me one of these. He's going to gift it to me so that I can make a review about it. And I am incredibly excited to see that. As most of you know, I love pinhole photography. I love seeing how much I can do with a pinhole. I think it's just a really neat way to, uh, to do photography. Very simple and with very good and interesting results. So in addition to the camera, there's, there's a, uh, something called the stereoscope. Now the way that the stereoscope is designed, uh, you'll take, it looks like you'll take your images, you'll put them in the front of it, and then you hold the stereoscope up to your eyes and look through the lenses, and then you, that's how you'll get the 3D stere stereoscopic view of the images. So I think that is really neat. And one, one thing is that this is not a digital friendly thing. You can't really, without having specialized software that I, I definitely don't have and don't, don't even know what I would use, use, you can't take two images and overlay them to make them look three-dimensional. This is a real-world physical principle, 
uh, that's reflective of the way that the brain works. So this is going to be something that can really be best enjoyed with the hands-on stereo viewer. And the camera itself, like I said, is really, really cute and really clever. Looks like the engineering behind it is fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to putting it together when it arrives. The other thing is you don't have to just do stereo photos with it. You can also, it looks like it has a, um, a, a blindfold that comes up over one of the pinholes. And then you can just do single images with it as well. So if you, and, I, and I'm, I believe I saw directions on how to switch between single and stereo images, um, but I don't recall what they are off the top of my head. So at any rate, um, I'm really looking forward to what Dominic sends me for that and I'm and using it. And his Kickstarter is kicking off in the next few weeks. I don't know exactly when. I seem to recall he said March 1st, but uh, don't hold me to that because they're his plans. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, when it arrives, I think it's going to be something that is going to be really, really worth looking into. I know I will be backing it when the Kickstarter uh, is opened. All right, so that's what we had for today. A little bit of news about an upcoming pinhole camera Kickstarter and uh, really interesting design and build going on with it. So have a good day, everybody, and we'll see you at the next Cameras and Coffee.